In this video, we're going to be checking out this first act custom shop DC 12 and we're starting right now. What's up everyone? Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. All right, so here it is, everyone. I've had a ton of questions about this thing, so I'm super excited to finally give it a proper video. What we have here is a first act custom shop DC-12, which as you can see, I've converted to a DC-9. Now, what do I mean by converted? Well, actually not much. All I've done is taken the octave pairing strings on this fourth, fifth, and sixth string and removed them. I've made no modifications to the nut, and I have also swapped the typical octave pairing on the third string to a unison pairing. So what do I mean by unison pairings? Well, essentially the first, second, and third strings here are doubled up with the exact same gauge, while as the fourth, fifth, and sixth strings are just being run with your typical wound strings. I have this thing in C standard tuning where I would normally run a set of 11 to 52 strings. So typically on a standard six string guitar, I would have an 11, 14, an 18, a 30, a 42, and a 52. Whereas on this thing, I've actually gone down one gauge size on each of the unison paired strings. So we've got a set of 10s, 13s, 17s, and then my standard uh, 30, 42, 52. Now some interesting things about this guitar. Obviously it has this really cool quilt top with this blue purple finish. It kind of depends on the light, uh, but typically in natural light, it looks more blue than purple. We've got an ebony fretboard with the split anvil inlays. And it has a scale of 25 and an eighth inches. So right between your typical Gibson scale and your typical Fender scale, all of my first act double, double cut guitars have had that scale length and I really like it. It's just in the middle, adds a little bit of string tension uh, without adding too much. So most of my guitars are 24 and three quarters, the typical Gibson scale length, but uh, the first act guitars all are this slightly longer length and I do like it quite a bit. An interesting thing about this guitar relative to the other first act double cut guitars I've owned, which is uh, three others at this point, is that this one actually has a scaled down body. The body is probably 90% uh, in terms of size of what the other ones are. So 10% smaller, I would say, just a rough estimate. And it's also thinner. Uh, whereas my DC-6, the black one that I play often that you can see behind me right there, is your typical uh, Gibson Les Paul style uh, inch and three quarters. This is actually a quarter inch thinner at an inch and a half. So in a sense, to me, it plays just slightly more like an SG than a Les Paul. I usually tell people that those DC-6s play more like Les Pauls than they do SGs just because of con the construction. And so with this one, because the body is smaller and that heel is a lot thinner, you just have more of an SG style playability and I like it quite a bit. So you got more of an SG style control layout. The pickups are some kind of hot PAF. This bridge pickup is 14.1K ohms and the neck pickup is more like eight and a half. So uh, I believe they were built, made by Kent Armstrong. Actually, I know they were made by Kent Armstrong, but I don't have any further information on them. Uh, one of the other important things about these guitars, or cool things anyways, is the beveling in the horn area. And of course the arch top, just a kind of a slight arch to them. Um, yeah, so the unison pairings on the first, second, and third strings really add a cool chorus-like effect to the guitar. Uh, adds a little bit of top-end presence and uh, honestly a bit of dissonance because your bends kind of float in and out of tune. It's a really great sound. The first time I ever heard one of these guitars, and which really made me fall in love with these guitars, was Matt Pike's work on Death Is This Communion by High on Fire. He used a DC-9, that his Cherry Burst DC-9, all the way through that record um, and toured with it for many years after. So we're going to demonstrate a little bit on this thing. I'll play some clean tones. Uh, you can hear how it sounds. And we'll also play a little bit of Waste of Tiamat off Death Is This Communion. Uh, I've got a tab for that thing up on Patreon. And what I really want to mention is if you haven't checked out Matt Pike 
over on Patreon. They're doing some really, really awesome stuff over there. I just had my signed print show up today, which has, which is really cool. Uh, one of the members' benefits over there. So if you haven't checked out Pike's Patreon, they're doing his episodes of Guitar Show Arts, which is some of the most entertaining uh, online content I've seen in a long time. So I'll have a link directly below this video. You can check out Matt's Patreon. Uh, he's certainly worth supporting. Uh, he's one of the main reasons I ever started this channel in the first place. So uh, there you have it. Let's get to it. We'll do some demos, and uh, you guys can see how this sounds. that like button subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell take a screenshot of this video and share it on your own social media drop the tag at does it doom so I can see that you're enjoying the content I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on patreon the very special thank you to all of our riff lord tier producers shown here I hope you guys are getting a ton of value out of all tabs and guides over there I know we've been having a great time in the Discord server, so if you haven't checked it out, head on over and check that out. And as I mentioned earlier, remember to check out Matt Pike on Patreon, patreon.com slash Matt Pike. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your...